Hey there, have you ever been cheated on? It's not a great feeling, is it? Well, I've got a book recommendation for you that might just help you out. It's called Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life, The Chump Lady's Survival Guide by Tracy Skirm. Now, I know what you're thinking, another self-help book. But trust me, this one is different. Whether you're fresh off a breakup or still dealing with the aftermath of a cheating partner, this book is packed with advice, humor, and real-life stories that will help you heal and move on. So sit back, relax, and let me tell you more about this must-read book. Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life, The Chump Lady's Survival Guide by Tracy Skern is a book that is perfect for anyone who has ever been cheated on and wants to move on from that toxic relationship. If you've been cheated on and you're feeling lost, angry, hurt, or just plain confused, then this book is for you. One of the biggest pieces of advice I can give to readers is to take your time with this book. Don't rush through it, because the information contained within its pages is incredibly valuable. You might find some parts of the book difficult to read or relate to, but don't let that discourage you. Keep going and you'll find that Tracy Skern's advice and guidance will help you gain the strength and confidence you need to move on. Another thing to keep in mind is that this book is not just for women. It's for anyone who has been cheated on, regardless of gender. So don't let the title fool you. The advice and guidance in this book can be applied to anyone who has been cheated on. Finally, don't be afraid to reach out for help if you need it. This book is a great starting point, but there are many other resources available to help you through this difficult time. Whether it's therapy, support groups, or just talking to friends and family, don't be afraid to reach out and get the help you need to heal and move forward. Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life is a book written by Tracy Skern, also known as Chump Lady, which serves as a guide for anyone who has been cheated on and is looking to move on with their life. The book is filled with practical advice, humor, and personal stories from the author and others who have gone through similar experiences. The book starts by explaining what a chump is, someone who has been cheated on and is still in love with their partner. Skern encourages readers to stop making excuses for their partner's infidelity and start taking control of their own lives. Throughout the book, Skern covers topics such as recognizing red flags in a relationship, setting boundaries, dealing with the aftermath of a breakup, and ultimately moving on and finding happiness. She emphasizes the importance of self-care and encourages readers to take time for themselves, whether it's through therapy, exercise, or pursuing hobbies. Therapy, some people find talking to a therapist helpful in processing their emotions and working through their feelings after a breakup. Therapists can provide tools and techniques for coping with difficult emotions and can offer a safe space to express oneself without judgment. Exercise, exercise is a great way to improve one's mood and overall well-being. It can also be a healthy way to cope with stress and difficult emotions. Some people find that going for a run, practicing yoga, or lifting weights helps them feel better after a breakup. Pursuing hobbies, engaging in activities that one enjoys can help distract from feelings of sadness or loneliness after a breakup. For example, someone who enjoys painting might find solace in spending time creating art, while someone who loves reading might find comfort in losing themselves in a good book. Hobbies can also provide a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment outside of romantic relationships. Overall, Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life is a practical and empowering guide for anyone who has been through the pain of infidelity. The book is written in a casual, relatable language that makes it easy to read and understand, while providing valuable insights and advice to help readers heal and move forward. In Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life, The Chump Lady's Survival Guide, Tracy Skern covers a wide range of topics related to infidelity and how to move on from a cheating partner. She talks about the various emotions that people experience after being cheated on, such as anger, sadness, and confusion 
and offers practical advice on how to deal with those emotions. Dealing with emotions like anger, sadness, and confusion can be tough, but there are some practical ways to handle them. When you're feeling angry, it can help to take a step back and give yourself some time to cool off before reacting. You can also try deep breathing or physical exercise to release some of that pent-up energy. When you're feeling sad, it's important to allow yourself to feel those emotions without trying to suppress them. You can try talking to a friend or family member, journaling, or doing an activity that makes you feel better, like listening to music or taking a walk outside. When you're feeling confused, it can be helpful to take a step back and evaluate the situation. Try to break it down into smaller parts and consider each one separately. You can also try talking to someone you trust for a fresh perspective or doing some research to gather more information. Practical advice for dealing with emotions can include things like practicing self-care, setting boundaries, and seeking professional help if needed. For example, if you're feeling overwhelmed or struggling to cope, it can be helpful to take some time for yourself to do something you enjoy or to prioritize getting enough sleep and exercise. Setting boundaries with people who may be causing stress or negativity in your life can also be an effective way to manage your emotions. Overall, it's important to remember that everyone experiences emotions differently and there's no one-size-fits-all solution. However, by being mindful of your feelings and taking proactive steps to manage them, you can develop healthy coping mechanisms and improve your overall well-being. Skern also covers the different types of cheaters, such as the serial cheater or the one-time cheater, and provides insights into their behavior and motivations. She even delves into the topic of gaslighting, which is when a cheater manipulates their partner into questioning their own sanity. When it comes to cheating, there are different types of cheaters, the serial cheater and the one-time cheater. The serial cheater is someone who cheats repeatedly on their partner, even if they know it's wrong. They may have a pattern of behavior where they feel entitled to cheat or believe that they can't be happy with just one partner. On the other hand, the one-time cheater is someone who may have cheated once, but it's not necessarily part of their usual behavior. Serial cheaters tend to have deep-rooted issues with commitment, trust, and self-control. They may also have a fear of intimacy or a desire for novelty and excitement in their relationships. They may use cheating as a way to feel powerful or to cope with emotional issues. One-time cheaters, on the other hand, may cheat due to a variety of reasons, such as feeling neglected or unappreciated in their current relationship being tempted by someone they find attractive, or experiencing a moment of weakness. However, they may also feel remorseful and regret their actions. It's important to understand the motivations behind a cheater's behavior to determine the best course of action. For example, if you're in a relationship with a serial cheater, it may be best to seek therapy or counseling to work through their deeper issues. On the other hand, if your partner is a one-time cheater and shows genuine remorse, it may be possible to work through the issue together with open communication and forgiveness. Regardless of the situation, it's important to prioritize your own well-being and set boundaries for what you will and will not tolerate in a relationship. Cheating can be a traumatic experience and it's important to take care of yourself emotionally and physically. Gaslighting is a manipulative tactic used by someone to make the victim question their own sanity and perception of reality. This can happen in a variety of ways, such as denying that events or conversations ever took place, or making the victim feel like their emotions and reactions are irrational or unwarranted. For example, a person might repeatedly tell their partner that they never said something hurtful, causing the partner to doubt their memory and feel like they are overreacting. Another example could be a boss constantly telling an employee that they are incompetent, even when their work is objectively good, leading the employee to doubt their abilities and feel like they are not good enough for their job. Gaslighting can have serious effects on a person's mental health, leading to anxiety, depression, and even PTSD. 
It is important to recognize the signs of gaslighting and seek help if you feel like you are a victim of it. Some tips for dealing with gaslighting include keeping a journal of incidents, seeking support from trusted friends or family members, and seeking professional therapy. Throughout the book, Skern emphasizes the importance of self-care and setting boundaries when dealing with a cheating partner. She encourages readers to prioritize their own well-being and offers guidance on how to rebuild their sense of self-worth after being cheated on. Rebuilding a sense of self-worth after being cheated on can be a long and difficult process, but it is possible. First, it's important to recognize that the cheating was not your fault and that you deserve love and respect. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family who can help boost your confidence and remind you of your worth. Take time for self-care activities that make you feel good, such as exercise, meditation, or pursuing a hobby. It's also helpful to focus on your own goals and interests, rather than solely on the relationship. Remember that you are more than just a partner to someone else, you are an individual with unique talents and qualities. It's important to avoid blaming yourself for the cheating or trying to fix the relationship on your own. Seek therapy or counseling to help work through any lingering emotional trauma or trust issues. With time and effort, you can rebuild your self-worth and move forward from the pain of infidelity. Overall, leave a cheater, gain a life is a comprehensive guide for anyone who has experienced infidelity in their relationship and is looking to move on and build a better life for themselves. Recognizing red flags in a relationship Recognizing red flags in a relationship is crucial to avoid getting into a toxic or unhealthy relationship. Here are some common red flags to look out for, lack of trust, if your partner is always suspicious of your actions or questions your every move, it may be a sign that they don't trust you. Controlling behavior, if your partner is constantly trying to control what you wear, who you hang out with, or where you go, it may be a sign that they are trying to isolate you. Disrespectful behavior, if your partner belittles you, makes fun of you, or speaks to you in a condescending tone, it may be a sign that they don't value you as an equal. Dishonesty, if your partner lies about small things or withholds information, it may be a sign that they are not trustworthy. Lack of communication, if your partner refuses to communicate or shuts down when you try to talk about important issues, it may be a sign that they are not willing to work through problems. Explosive anger, if your partner has a quick temper and frequently lashes out with anger or violence, it may be a sign that they have anger management issues. Cheating, if your partner has a history of cheating or has cheated on you in the past, it may be a sign that they are not committed to the relationship. It's important to recognize these red flags early on in a relationship and have a conversation with your partner about your concerns. If your partner is unwilling to acknowledge their behavior or work on improving it, it may be time to reevaluate the relationship. Remember, you deserve to be in a healthy and respectful relationship. Setting boundaries in a relationship means deciding what you are willing and not willing to accept from your partner. It's important to set clear boundaries to protect yourself and your well-being. For example, if your partner consistently makes plans without consulting you or cancels plans at the last minute, you can set a boundary by letting them know that you expect to be consulted before plans are made and that last-minute cancellations are not acceptable. Another example is setting boundaries around communication. If your partner has a habit of texting or calling you at all hours of the day and night, you can set a boundary by letting them know that you need time to yourself and that you prefer to limit communication during certain hours. Setting boundaries also means being clear about consequences if those boundaries are not respected. For instance, if your partner continues to cross a boundary even after you've communicated it clearly, you may need to consider whether the relationship is healthy for you and take steps to protect yourself. Remember, setting boundaries is not about controlling your partner, but about taking care of yourself and your needs. It can take time and practice, 
but it is an important skill to have in any relationship. Dealing with the aftermath of a breakup. Dealing with the aftermath of a breakup can be tough, but there are some practical tips you can follow to make it a bit easier. Firstly, it's important to give yourself time to grieve and process your emotions. This can include talking to friends and family, journaling, or seeking out a therapist if needed. Another important step is to take care of yourself both physically and mentally. This means practicing self-care activities such as exercise, meditation, or treating yourself to a favorite hobby. It can also mean taking steps to address any mental health concerns, such as seeking out counseling or medication. When it comes to dealing with your ex-partner, it's important to set boundaries to protect yourself emotionally. This may mean cutting off contact or limiting communication to only necessary matters. It's also important to avoid the temptation to seek revenge or engage in negative behaviors, as this will only prolong your healing process. Ultimately, the key to dealing with the aftermath of a breakup is to focus on your own healing and growth. Use this time as an opportunity to reflect on what you want in a future relationship and work on building a stronger sense of self-worth and confidence. Remember that time heals all wounds, and with patience and self-care, you will get through this challenging time. Ultimately moving on and finding happiness. Moving on after a breakup can be a difficult process, but it is possible to find happiness again. One of the first steps is to let go of any resentment or anger towards your ex-partner. It's important to remember that holding onto negative emotions will only hold you back from moving on and finding happiness. Another important step is to focus on self-care and self-improvement. Take time to do things that make you happy, whether it's a hobby or spending time with friends and family. Exercise and eating healthy can also help improve your mood and overall well-being. It's also important to be open to new experiences and opportunities. Take on new challenges, try new things, and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. This can lead to personal growth and new, positive experiences. Finally, finding closure and letting go of the past can be a powerful tool in moving on. This can involve forgiveness, acceptance, and understanding that the relationship has ended. Remember that the end of a relationship does not define your worth, and that you deserve happiness and love in the future. Reading Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life, The Chump Lady's Survival Guide by Tracy Skern can be helpful for anyone who has experienced infidelity in their romantic relationship. The book offers practical advice on how to cope with the emotional aftermath of a betrayal, including anger, sadness, and confusion. It also provides insights into the behavior and motivations of serial cheaters or one-time cheaters, as well as how to recognize red flags in a relationship and set healthy boundaries. By reading this book, you can learn how to rebuild your sense of self-worth after being cheated on, and ultimately move on to find happiness. It also offers tips on how to deal with the aftermath of a breakup and suggests various ways to cope with the difficult emotions that come with it, such as therapy, exercise, or pursuing hobbies. Overall, Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life, The Chump Lady's Survival Guide is a helpful resource for anyone who has experienced infidelity and wants to learn how to move forward with their life in a healthy and positive way. So, if you've ever been cheated on, leave a cheater, gain a life, The Chump Lady's Survival Guide by Tracy Skern is a must-read. With Skern's witty and relatable writing style, you'll feel like you're chatting with a friend who has been through it all. This book will guide you through the confusing and painful aftermath of infidelity and show you how to take back your power and start living your best life. Trust me, it's worth the read.